unexpected vlog happening. I'm headed into the hospital. <laughs> this is my life. So basically, we decorated all day yesterday. Addie was fine. And at night, I obsessively check on my children, make sure they're warm, breathing, they're not turned around, and I always feel her head to see if she is running a fever because fever protocol for Addie is much different than a normal healthy kid. And last night when I went in to check on her at 3 a.m., her head felt, felt a little warm, so I decided to take her temperature, and sure enough, I do the ear one and it's always off. One ear read 101, the other side read 100. And we're supposed to bring her in immediately if she's ever at 101. But she was also like laying on her head. So I didn't know if she was just like too hot under the covers. But needless to say, it was up since like 3 a.m. monitoring her, checking her. She was fluctuating between like 99 and 101. My ways is still on. So I wasn't, um, I, I didn't know, like I thought she could maybe, her body could fight it. But at around two o'clock today, Dan was like, I think you should bring her to the clinic because then at least she's like comfortable there. We're not having to go through the ER after hours on the weekend. And I'm glad he did because she obviously has something brewing. So I'm going in now to relieve her dad and hang out. Pluto, he's gray. Special edition, black and white. I knew it was special edition. Yeah, you're right. So, every time um, we come here, it's like Christmas. So today, she got a Zoom Zoom pack. Devin gave me it. From Devin, um, the child life department. What? And then this, she can paint. And then I brought her games and books and other stuff to keep us busy. Have you had a stuff to do? I really wanted to bring this because this kid loves being on camera, so she lights up. How are you feeling? Yeah? So they're telling us, or they told her dad, who then told me, that, um, sorry, because she's in the maintenance phase, the protocol like for her being admitted to the hospital is much better than when you're going through like the rough stuff so we should not be here knock on wood as long beforehand her counts needed to be like progressing upwards for two consecutive days she needed to be fever free for 24 hours before they could even consider letting us home but this time they said she just needs to be getting better not worse like not getting more fevers not having her ANC counts go so can we lower that just a little bit? The lo uh, oh. There's a possibility we could go home tomorrow, but it's looking more like Sunday. So I'm going to be here for a little bit, and then her dad's going to come back and sleep at night, which I really super appreciate because Bentley is battling an ear infection, so I want to be home at night with him too. You look good though. Tell them what we're going to have for dinner. She hates the food here, and I don't blame her, especially when you're pretty much. She only likes the breakfast. I don't like they anything. They have a really good breakfast, but yeah, the rest of the food is like, for being a hospital. I don't like the breakfast. Not healthy. At all. I don't like either. I always eat her French toast. They have really good French toast. So. Dan's gonna bring the kids up and we're gonna have like a picnic with Chipotle. I'll take pancakes, I guess, but the rest of the food, meh. Nah. Nah. Yes. 
so dang cold. It's still a mess here. There's like snow and ice. <sighs> it's really frustrating being here because she's like acting fine. She's eating, she's drinking, she's peeing, she's pooping. We've been in here a lot, like in the last year when she had a fever and I could just tell she was like not feeling good, just not well. But this is like, I feel like the only thing that's keeping us here is her temperature. Like, there's no, she's not mushy. She's in really good spirits. We were playing games and reading the whole time and she was actually wanting to play more games just now. And I was like, no, you need to go to bed. So, hold on. Oh my God, I cannot believe how cold it is. Oh my God. What is going on with this weather? So anyway, she's she's good, like she feels fine. Other than just like being hot and then being cold, which is the fever. They gave her Tylenol again because she, her temperature went from like um, 101 to 102. So they gave her Tylenol again. And then they checked it in an hour and it came down to 100. So I told her dad to text me and just let me know what it is again when they check it. That's the only concern I have is like usually when they give her the Tylenol, it immediately starts coming down. And I mean, it did come down, but she still feels very warm to me. So hopefully she gets a good night's rest and they take her blood in the morning. We'll get the results for her blood cultures um, like tomorrow around four o'clock, which will say if there's any like bloodstream infections happening, which none of the doctors think is the case. She did test positive for rhinovirus, which is essentially a cold and there's nothing they do to treat that. But she's on automatically once she got, got admitted, sorry, I'm like shivering, I'm so cold. They automatically um, start with an, a very heavy, powerful antibiotic called ceftriaxone. ceftriaxone. Um, hair in my mouth. So she's on that and then she's on cefepime, which is even stronger. And um, they just do that as like a precaution before they even get the blood culture results because it essentially kills anything bad in her system or in her blood. So um, of all the times we've been admitted in the hospital for fevers throughout her diagnosis, there was only ever one time and it was in the very, very beginning with her that she actually had a bloodstream infection, but she, they still like, it's just protocol. They have to put her on these antibiotics regardless. Um, so that's that, it's 11 o'clock. I'm gonna go home to the boys, get some sleep, and then I'm coming back here tomorrow and I'll be here pretty much all day um, and into the evening. And then her dad's gonna sleep here again tomorrow night. So I don't know if I'm gonna um, vlog anymore tomorrow, unless there's like an update or just upload this for tomorrow, but I just wanted to keep you guys up to date. And just any extra prayers you have, you wanna send our way so we can get the heck home, I would appreciate it. I will say bye, or I will say see you later because I don't know if I'll be back or not, but thank you guys for watching as always and for your support. Paper, scissors. Pick one. I was gonna pick scissors. No, you got me. <laughs> He's still a rock. He's still a rock. I don't think he meant to be a rock. No, I want them to be scissors. <laughs> no, you got a rock. Okay, I'm rock. Okay, so I'm rock. So you got me, so. Okay. No. Oh. So you go first. So you spin. You got six. So move six with your bottom. Go this way? No, yeah, go that way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mix me. And what does this say? Trade me. Trade me. You don't have any to trade yet. My turn? Yeah. Oh, okay. Take a pink and pick one now. You can look in any of the balls. You gotta collect all these oh, tokens. Let's look in here. Yeah. Six. One, two, three, four, five, oh, six. Oh, right next to me.
I put this is right here. Beautiful. The magnets. Magnets. Mag. Nets. 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 Magnets. There you go. So we also got this popcorn. And it's gonna look so beautiful. <laughs> How are you feeling? So sick, right? She looks so sick that we just have to be in the hospital. Ah! And Here we are again. Um, in the hospital. I, in the hospital. I haven't, I, have a fever. I haven't spoken to the oncologist yet. Um, it's their call. Um, even though there's like a pediatrician like on on the floor, but it's the oncologist call as far as like when we can leave and the like the she can't. process of what what's going on. It's about 1.30 now. Four o'clock we'll have the results from her blood cultures. That'll have been 24 hours to see if something grew. We haven't heard anything and they usually let you know right away if something grew on the blood culture. So I'm hoping good news, no news is good news. But other than that, we're just trying to keep busy. Okay. But she looks fine, she's eating, she feels fine. I think her color is really good. So I'm just waiting to see what the oncologist Hi. says. You look so sick. I don't. Wait, where's my Oh, damn it. Tell them what you said before. You wanna go home, but you don't wanna go home because. I have this on Show my them. Foot. So she, that's where her port is. So that's where all her IVs are hooked up to. And after all of this, all of the things that this girl has been through, this is the thing she hates the most, is when the bandage has to come off around her port. She gets her port accessed like it's nothing. She doesn't cry or anything. She sits in a chair by herself while they access her port with a needle, but she absolutely hates when they have to take the bandage off. So that's the only reason she said she doesn't want to leave because she dreads that part. Almost done with this and then I'll find the sh first one. So I just need to do this and run this in and do the crown and then put the camera in. <laughs> I'm here pretty much until this evening that her dad will come back to sleep here. Bentley, and Dan has Bentley and Louie. And they're just hanging out at home. So. And then Papa and Nani. And my dad just left and Nani might come tonight. They might come back tonight or tomorrow. So she wants to go into the playroom. They have like a nice little playroom full of toys and stuff. I love the baby dolls. I baby dolls. I remember when I was like taking care of the baby dolls. In here? Yeah. Yeah. But um, we don't know if we can like leave the room. I think we can. I said if anything Mom, they might look, just make I literally, last time I had a fever, mm -hmm. I literally took all the baby dolls and I babysit all of them. I remember that. You had them all lined up all on the couch. So we're waiting to, to ask the doctor if we can leave. If anything, they might just make her put a mask on, but I think she's fine to leave the room. I really hope I don't have to put a mask on because I really don't like it and I can't breathe. Yeah, they're annoying. I don't blame you. And they smell disgusting. Disgusting.
What do you see? All the plates in your hair. hair. What's in his hair? Like it's what's in his hair? Oh, the Rice Krispie or something. Yes. A booger, maybe? No. <laughs> Come here, I'll take your jacket off. Okay, for your next one, Come here. You guys have to make I'll take your jacket off. Just unclip his passport. Yeah. Oh, 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 okay. okay, go see mom. Go back to mom. Who is this? Yay! Who is that? Me? Did we get an update? Yeah, you can't have another fever. You have another okay, fever? One, when? 100.1. This pants. Now fill out picture pants. Hold on. What would they say? He said that by tomorrow, if her blood cultures are mm -hmm. still mm -hmm. negative at 48 hours, but we can go. Tomorrow? Okay. Yeah, but assuming also her ANC has I'm to come up. I think you said, what, why did they tell you different things? No, it doesn't have to be like two consecutive days. It just has to be better than today. That's I said, would you like send us home with a fever even if even if her cultures are negative and her A and C comes up? And he said, yeah. That's what gets me. Like, they're like, they're like, oh, her, her things don't have to come up. And now, oh, they, they have to come up. They just don't have to be two consecutive days. Yeah. What is it at? 112. <laughs> Cover that mouth. Uh, who's did you like better? The mini? The mini. Or did you like Jillian's? Look. Thank you. Your favorite movie. Oh. Thank you, Who's your big boy eating those crackers? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Boom block. Where are you going, bud? Are you goodies and buddies or just goodies? goodies. No, you gotta be goodies and buddies. In love has... Look, he's coming to bring you a cracker. Just take it from him so he feels bad. Say thank you. You thought you me to feed Are you lazy? Are you a lazy little boy? <coughs> hey, you missed. You're missing a shoe! <coughs> Benny! <coughs> you laughing? Yeah, see? Chew and swallow. Okay, you more. You gotta finish what's in your mouth. Let me see your mouth. Let me see. Let me see. Good job. <laughs> what page did you real. show him? She's real. Oh yeah, it's a true story. Oh, yeah. Oh, is that what the surprise is? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought it was like gonna be something like. No, I read the whole book to her, not realizing it. But I was like, man, this name sounds familiar. And here, she, it's a, based on a true story. I'm waiting for the punchline. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like a doofus. You dancing? It's good to what are you dancing to? Eddie had a chest x-ray this morning because the doctor thought he heard a little bit of wheezing when he listened to her and we just want to make sure that it's not pneumonia. But she's still in really good spirits. She hasn't had a fever since yesterday. Cool as a cucumber. <laughs> so they're thinking we could probably go home tomorrow. Even if she does have pneumonia, she's been on the antibiotics that they would be giving her for it. So that's reassuring. What a decorating butterfly. For decorating butterflies. And this is the kind of our numbers. This is the kind of butterfly we're decorating. It's so pretty. And we're following the numbers you can see on here. And it tells you what one's on the box. Mm-hmm. I brought Where's lots this? of activities from home to keep her yeah, busy got, all like, day. We got Julie. I can make a pillow. <laughs> and I can do this. So yeah. Say hi Yaddy. Say when are you coming home? I think he muted us. Why is it so quiet? 
<laughs> Dan? Babe, we can't hear anything. <laughs> I think he can hear us, but we can't hear. Are you waving? Dan? Hi, little boy. Dan. <laughs> oh, he's crying. We can't hear you. He said, I'll call you back. Update, we're not going home. She still seems and feels fine, but they heard a little bit of like swishing when they listened to her chest today. So they did a chest x-ray for fear of pneumonia, but she does not have pneumonia, but she does have like mucus in her lungs. So they said that she's getting the antibiotic that they would give anyway, but that that could develop into pneumonia if it wasn't treated. So they still wanna see her ANC, which is her absolute neutrophil count, which is like a snapshot of her immune system. They still wanna see that number come up a little bit more. So when I asked him if we could still go home tomorrow, he said, we wanna see her numbers a little higher. <laughs> So, fingers crossed, but I am gonna end the vlog here. There's not really much more happening. It's kind of just like sit and wait and see. They're not doing anything. They're just, it's just one of those things that I guess has to run its course. The blood cultures are all still negative and they're still um, pretty confident that this is just a virus. The mucus in the lungs is a very common thing when viruses happen. Her ANC did come up a little bit today, like baby steps. So I'm hopeful that tomorrow, hopefully, it'll come up even more. But the ANC, it can literally go from like zero to a thousand like this. So I'm hopeful that it comes up just a little bit more so that we can get the heck home. Thank you so much for your support and your prayers. And we will see you in the next video. Bye. What do you want to say? We're not done with it yet, but show them where we're at. It's getting there. there. It's going to take really long to get this actually. So I might need help from my mom or someone. So, yeah. Can you say thank you to your prayer warriors? Say thank you for praying for me.